welcome back to another video in this video we are looking at how a revolutionary yet ancient construction technique is taking root in the northern region of ghana specifically tamale A non-governmental organization called the Nubian Vault is behind this green housing architecture and they are constructing their first ever story building in Tamale without iron rods, zinc or even wood, just earth, to serve as their office space in Ghana. This unique building method was discovered by French mason Thomas Grenier and Burkina Faso farmer Seri Yoro. The technique relies on widely available local materials, clay, gravel, stones, and water, making it both cost effective and environmentally friendly. How long have you been doing this kind of work? Uh, for now, I'm not in this one. C1. We have a this one, like great. Uh -huh up to C4, but I'm not in C1. And some are C2, some are three, C3, and some are four, hey, this is C4. But also now I'm in C, C1, but I started the work, hey, this one. That was last year that I started with them, work now with them. Uh -huh. So how has it been? Like, is it hard in doing it all? Like we, the workers, or oh, if yeah, you are, okay. Oh, for for real, it's not easy at all. It's not easy. It's not easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because especially this kind of building, you don't need like rain to. Uh, so if we have to build, we always put pressure on it for us to finish before rain will come. Uh -huh. So when you are done with it, are, are you going to use cement to plaster? Is that what? You're yes. Some by this one because of this one, but we normal like this one we build no. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you build them, they will use coatal and just uh -huh, with the soft this one. Coatal. Yes, okay. and do but this one because we did it. We want people to see how is this no? We have to use this one cement. That's the reason why the blocks you see that this one stones are there. Okay. Uh -huh. So if you use the this one the cement for the person, it will. Uh -huh, it will be hard. Mm -hmm. okay. You mentioned that you are in C1. Yes. How long have you been working in last year? Uh, that's last year. I maybe last year. Uh, that I joined them. How long will it take you to rise up? It depends how the, the knowledge you get in the work. Uh -huh. if, if some are there, they are even more than five years. Uh, C1, some are C2. It depends. Okay. And people came and met people and they are C4, but they are still there. Just that if you know how to do plum and everything, that's all. Mm -hmm. That's how you write. Yes. Which level of education? Hmm? Me, what is your level of mm, education? I finished it this one. SS, that was 2022. 2022. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. That's smooth, right? Yes. Mm. You said these bricks, they are called what? They are flip. Yes. You use that for? For the vault. Mm -hmm. Right then. Yes. We are involved in mission C4. Mm. Here C4. is yes. Okay. Here is our office. Okay. In Tamale here, and this is the big construction that we have in Ghana here. The what? Big project that we build in Ghana here. Okay. Uh, here is our entrance. So here is the porch entering our office. Okay. This place is our toilet and bath. Here is the washroom. Here will be our washroom. Here will be our toilet and bath. Uh, if you come here, here is our hall. Here is our hall. Uh, our meeting hall. The hall here is the hall. That's why you see that we do a big arch inside here. That's why we do the, the big arch with cement. And here we divide here, here will be the kitchen for us. This one, this is the level of this one. It's only one rooms. Here is the bedrooms that we are building okay, here. The bedrooms are here. Yes, here will be the store building. 
here will be the stairs for the so next where one. So this will be for the story building. The story building. Okay. So here that we are going to build the stairs. We have our one room here. Here is the one. We have a room here. One room with a bath and toilet here. Here is the bath and toilet. Oh, this is a toilet and bath. Yes. So these are yes. pipes too. For the toilet. The toilet. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. That's the, the two entrance between the two bedrooms. The two bedrooms will be shared. They will be sharing. The, yeah. So after this one, we are going to build the same thing at top. Yeah. So after here, uh, this next week, Monday going, we'll start roofing this one. After the roofing, we'll finish with this one's all and we'll go to the top. With local material only, no iron rod, no wood. We are going to build with it only local, local, local material. Material. Okay. What are some of the tools that you use? That you can see tools. some lines here. Yeah, yeah, this one is our line. We use cable. Okay. The binding wires to make it as a cable. Okay. For us, and we just buy some small wood for us to be climbing. Okay. And we have our normal tools for machine. We have plums. That's our split level. Okay. And we have throwers and other things. And knives, I can see. Yes, can the knife for us to be cutting, yeah, to be cutting the bricks, okay. it will be easier for you than the hammers. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. In Ghana here, actually, uh, yeah. it's many. We can me, my only me, Abel, like ten or fifteen in Ghana here. Ten or fifteen. In Ghana. Wow. Yeah. In Tamale, yeah. in Tamale wow. we have this one. This one is the first time that I came in Tamale to build okay. this one. I came and built it last year, this year that we are putting this okay. one. So, so, so from what you're saying, I think you're yeah. one of the senior most workers here, right? Yeah. Yes, I have, we are three. I have one is senior, we have the second, and I'm edited okay. in this side. Are you all in C4? No, we have other C4s here. The the level of us the we C4 are different. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe with the little experience that you have. To yes. Enter, that's yeah. Right. That's what's there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How so how long have you been in it? Uh, more than seventeen years now. 17. Since they start Nubian voting in Ghana here. Since they start Nubian voting in Ghana here. Okay. We the second vote in our is our area in Ghana. Okay. There that I joined Nubian vote. By then I'm a cement mission. Once we started Nubian Boat and I joined. Okay. And it's the, because of the building is good and it's nice. Oh, yeah, I involve myself. I try to, if I have work and this time I have to stop because of Nubian Boat. Okay. Um, yeah. So when you don't have work, you do your normal needs. Yes. yes. So this one is no cheap, it's not cheap. This one, to be frankly speaking, where you get the material, who shows what Ouch. the how uh, because some people in our area some people used to dig their own land your own community people come and just mold the bricks for you yeah. where you just do is like to just call the masons to come and put the building for you okay. so there too it will be different it will, you see it is like it will be cheaper but here you know buy cement you know buy zinc you know buy iron rods you know buy anything you just produce the local material and that one too if you are spending more that shows that the money is coming within the community those who will be working with you is only the community people you will not send the money to go and buy cement or iron rods somewhere and come yeah, you just spend it with when they are even expensive so yeah uh -huh. are very expensive and inside the rooms is heat but yeah, if you are this one no, the place is conditioned. yeah yeah Unlike conventional buildings, the Nubian vault structures are built entirely with earth. This means they help protect forests by eliminating the need for timber, whilst also reducing the demand for expensive imported materials like metal sheets and iron.
benefits do not stop there. The Nubian vault buildings are naturally cooler in hot weather and provide warmth when it's cold. Their thermal properties create a much comfort inside the home. The Nubian vault construction process relies heavily on unskilled labor, offering job opportunities to many people who may not have formal education in construction. This empowers local economies and strengthens communities. As population grows and climate change intensifies, we need to rethink how we build. The Nubian vault provides answers to these challenges offering durable, affordable, and eco-friendly housing. This is not their first project in Tamale. They constructed the building at Buntanga Eco Resort, if you've been there, and they've done other constructions around Bywater and also Wamale within the Tamale vicinity. Do you think the Nubian Vault technique is something you want to try in your next project? be it a residential or a commercial property, let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, kindly like, share and then subscribe. Let's uh, spread the word. Thank you very much.